Guys, welcome to this video. Today it's just a little shorty and it's about how to bring this temperature sensor to my local network. This is a Node MCU development board for just around 5 euros. The cool thing about it is it already has Wi-Fi built in and the plan is to use this as an HTTP web server to serve the data gathered from this temperature sensor. I wrote a little program for it. Let's take a look at it. To get the source, you have to look at my GitHub repository. You will find all the links you need in the description below. Just click the code or clone button and copy the link and use the git tool to clone the repository. After that you should see a folder containing two files, a readme and the INO script. Um, take a look at the readme, that's pretty important because you'll find information about the required libraries for this project in there. When you open the INO file in the Arduino program, it may ask you to move the file to a new subfolder. Uh, just click OK, that's totally fine. And then you should be able to edit the code and yeah, just add your Wi-Fi configuration here. Hit the Verify button in the Arduino IDE on the top left to check if the program compiles successfully. Now we can wire up everything we need. So we take a look at the sensor and the Node MCU board. And we connect the power and the ground. There is a 3V marked on the Node MCU board and the G for ground. We connect these to the sensor and then there is one cable left, which is the data cable. It is connected to the pin called D2. Don't get confused here. The labeling is a little bit different from the other Arduino boards. Uh, D2 is actually a reference to input pin or output pin 4 in the Arduino IDE. If you want to look that up, just search for Arduino and Node MCU pin out on Google. Yeah, and that's it already. We just connect the board to the USB port on our computer and it's uh, back to the code. With our preparation done, we can now compile the program and upload it to the board. Opening the serial monitor should show some garbage and some useful information. Like here, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and uh, yeah, we are ready to go. Entering the IP address of the board into our browser shows the current temperature. And adding the JSON path shows us the same thing in the JSON response format. And to make use of this new sensor, I'll now add it to my Homebridge configuration. I use the Homebridge HTTP temperature sensor plugin for this. And I'll just add a new entry under the accessories configuration by giving it a useful name and changing the IP address to the device's IP address. After saving and restarting, the new sensor is available in the accessories tab. That's actually pretty cool because this means I can use this sensor in my HomeKit configuration. As I said in the opening, this is just a shorty. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something and found this useful. I would love to see you again in a future video. Thank you. Bye bye.